Since gravity is such an important force, I want to make sure we spend enough time looking at the work done by the gravitational force. So what we have to do is look at lifting and lowering an object and calculating the work done by gravity and seeing what that means. So here's an object. Let's say mass m. And we're going to lower it, let's say, a height h. So if we're going to lower it, two forces acting on the object, mg, which is the weight of the object, and the lowering force. Again, the lowering force still acts upward. If we are using a ropes, a rope, ropes don't push on things. If it is just simply an object in my hand, the force of my hand will act up on the object. So we are going to look at the work done by gravity in lowering by gravity in lowering. It's very important that we realize if we are talking about the work done by gravity, it makes a difference which, cho which force we choose. We must choose mg. mg is the weight of the object. That deals with the gravitational force. F is not gravity. In fact, in general, the work done by F will not even be similar so the work done by mg. We'll see why in a minute. So if we want to figure out the work done by gravity, the formula for work is f cos theta delta x. So the work done by gravity. The force is mg. We must choose mg. It moves h, and the angle between mg and h is zero. They point in the same direction. So the work done by gravity and lowering is positive mgh, which makes sense. The object is being lowered. mg acts downward. So if we think about it, positive work, mg wants to accelerate the object. It doesn't mean it is accelerating the object, just like the last examples. It wants to accelerate the object. Now, before we look at lifting work, Let's analyze the work done against gravity. So against would mean looking at the force F. So let's look at the work done by F. F cos theta delta X. We can say the force is F. It moves H. The angle is 180 degrees between F and the way it moves. So it's negative FH. So I cannot say that F is equal to MG. So I cannot say the work is negative MGH. So even in magnitudes, they are not equal. Why can't I say that? There is only one condition where the magnitudes of F and MG are equal, and that is the condition of constant velocity. I do not know if the object is accelerating downward or moving at a constant velocity. So in general, F is not equal to mg. Therefore, I do not know what the network is. Again, this is, an F, this is like F equals ma. I do not know the acceleration of the object. F will be equal to mg only in the case of constant velocity, which would then make the network equal to zero. So we have to be very careful. The work done by F and the work done by MG are not always equal and opposite. We have to make sure we solve problems to figure out the relationship. So now we're going to look at by gravity and lifting, and we can guess what we're going to get. Here's our object, M, F, MG, lift it through a height h. So, by gravity, work equals f cos theta delta x. The work done by the force of gravity, mg, it moves h, but the angle is 180 degrees. mg points down, h is up. They're 180 degrees opposite. 
So the work done by gravity is negative mgh. This makes sense because as an object is being lifted, mg wants to decelerate or slow the object because it's opposite to which way it moves. Therefore, it makes sense that it's negative. We could come up with the same against gravity uh, discussion as we looked at. In this case, the work done by F is positive. I still do not know if it's accelerating or not. So all I would know is the work done is positive. If we look at the work against gravity, meaning the work done by the force F. Once again, F and mg are not the same unless I know the object is moving at a constant velocity. What I do want to mention now when we will revisit this is notice how I didn't talk about how the object moved up a height h. In other words, we did not know the path of the object. The object could have moved this way. If this was our object, it might have moved this way, where this is a height h. I don't know, nor do I care. This is a very important point that we will look at later. The work done by gravity is independent of the object's path. Completely independent. It only matters on level, the level change, or the height h. Because of this, gravity is called a conservative force. The work done by conservative forces are independent of path taken. This will be very important when we introduce the concept of energy.